This video is part of the iGEM Academy series, A Beginner's Guide. This tutorial explains how to carry out a mini prep. Mini preps are used to isolate and purify plasma DNA from bacterial cells. The following mini prep protocol was carried out using the KiaPrep Spin Mini Prep Kit provided by KiaGEM. All the buffers required are provided in the kit. In this tutorial, we prepared two samples in order to balance the centrifuge. An alternative to this is to prepare one sample and to balance the centrifuge with a tube containing an equal volume of water. An overnight culture of bacteria is removed from the incubator. One milliliter of this overnight culture is transferred into two properly labelled Eppendorf tubes. These tubes are placed into a centrifuge and centrifuged at 11,000 RPM for two minutes. The supernatant is carefully removed from each tube. Care is taken not to disturb the pellet. The pellet is then resuspended using buffer P1. Before using the buffer, make sure that RNase A has already been added. RNase will ensure that the cell's RNA is broken down. This will prevent the cells from being associated with the waste. 250 microliters of buffer P1 is added to each tube. This buffer destabilizes the cell membrane and macromolecules. This will allow the DNA to be separated from other cell components. The tubes are vortexed to make sure that the entire pellet has been resuspended. The cells are then lysed with 250 microliters of buffer P2. This buffer contains potassium acetate, which allows the plasma DNA to remain in solution while the other cellular components are precipitated. The colour changes from cloudy to blue. The tubes are inverted gently. The reaction is left to proceed for 5 minutes. The reaction is then neutralized with 350 microliters of buffer N3. This buffer contains guanidinium chloride, which prevents protein folding. The tubes are inverted gently. The samples are transferred to the centrifuge and centrifuged at top speed for 10 minutes. The pellet contains all the cell debris, while the supernatant contains the desired plasma DNA. 800 microliters of the supernatant is then removed and transferred into a KiaPrep 2.0 spin column. The samples are put into a centrifuge and centrifuged for one minute. The flow through is discarded. 500 microliters of buffer PB is then pipetted into the spin column. This step is necessary to remove trace nuclease activity when using endonuclease A positive strains and is not required for strains such as XL1 blue and DH5 alpha. The columns are centrifuged at top speed for one minute. The flow through is discarded. Next, 750 microliters of buffer PE is added to the column. Before using buffer PE, make sure that the ethanol has been added to it. The ethanol washes out from the column any remaining buffers that were previously used. The columns are once again centrifuged at top speed for one minute and the flow through discarded. The columns are again centrifuged at top speed for one minute. The columns are then transferred into empty Eppendorf tubes. 50 microliters of buffer EB is added to the centre of each column. This buffer eludes the plasma DNA. The columns are left to stand at room temperature for 5 minutes. The tubes are then placed into the centrifuge and centrifuged at top speed for 1 minute. This time, make sure to discard the column and not the flow through. The flow through contains the DNA. Make sure to label the tubes properly. The mini prep is complete and the desired DNA plasmid has been purified. DNA can be stored in the freezer at minus 80 degrees Celsius. Thank you for watching. This video is brought to you by the TCD iGEM team 2015. To go directly to the next video in the series, A Beginner's Guide, please click on the link provided.